Hey, what's up y'all? I am doing some seeding of some sunflowers today and sunflowers are the only thing that we direct seed here on the farm and I'm gonna show you how we do it. We only seed a, a few thousand sunflowers at a time so we just do it all with this hand earthway seeder. It works really well for us and I'll show you what we use for our plate and such. The earthway seeder comes with quite a few plate selections. They don't have any plates for flowers, so you kind of have to improvise with the veggie plates that they give you. Um, people swear by their different methods that they use for their earthway on how they seed sunflowers specifically. Um, but we use the seed corn plate. We don't mess around with waxing any of the holes or anything like that. We just don't have time for it. I like the sweet corn plate because it, it does put three or four seeds per hole. But that's just fine with us. We like to plant our sunflowers really dense because it tends to lead to smaller heads, which works well for us. The giant sunflowers just really aren't something that we found that we can use for our market. Maybe we could, we just don't. We, we like the, the smaller, easy to use sunflowers for our bouquets. But the sweet corn one works really, really well. A lot of people want to use the popcorn plate and I just really, haven't found myself liking the popcorn plate very much because it tends to miss. I, I feel like the sunflower seeds that we use are just a little bit too big and sometimes you get a miss in a hole and I'd rather overseed than underseed anyway. And this is one of our rows that we seeded already that's popping up and you can see everybody's popping up and where they're crowded there's plenty of room for them to spread out and grow and continue to grow nobody gets choked out everybody gets an opportunity to make a beautiful bloom so i got my sweet corn plate installed and now i'm ready to do some seeding i have my seed loaded up in the hopper and what i found with this earthway is you can't overload it uh, it will tend to want to bog up and get seeds in between the plate and the hop in the hopper which is kind of a pain in the butt. So I tend to only fill it about half full. So these rows are about 75 feet long and the bed is pro uh, probably about 42 inches wide. So I'll do three lines of seeds per row. As you can see, I kind of lean the earthway towards the plate to make sure that the hot, that the plate catches seeds as it rotates. So I just give it a little bit of a lean as I'm going down the row. In the visual, to have it make a little bit of better sense, you can see that down the row, I went down the row three times, so three lines. I'm, I'm sure that there's a proper farm term for it that's totally escaping me right now, but three lines down each row. So that's it, super simple. That's how we do our sunflowers. That's the only thing we direct seed on here on the farm. Everything else is planted by hand via plug. We just haven't really found that this little machine works for anything else or just, it's just so much more efficient for us to plant them as plugs and plant them by hand. If you guys found that the Earthway works for something in particular for you guys that we're missing, that I'd sure love to try something new. I'm always open to new things. Let us know what you use the Earthway for as far as seeding flowers. See you next time. Thanks.